Hello, my beautiful humans. Thank you for joining me on another episode here on Creative Street. Today, I it's not a specific topic um, in terms of creativity, um, but rather I want to talk about uh, fear. Um, it's weird to talk about fear, especially on a podcast about creativity, but I think it's important because... As creatives, there's many things that we fear, um, especially because when you're creating something, you're being very vulnerable um, and you're putting yourself out there and you're putting your work out there and your ideas out there to essentially get judged um, by others. And and that can that can be very frightening um, and very, very intimidating uh, for most of us, if not all of us. Um, But. I don't want to talk specifically about the fear of and and the vulnerability um that we that we face but rather I want to talk about fear in terms of like fear being a powerful tool. Um it sounds weird, right? Cuz we don't we don't typically associate fear with this uh strength um that we can have, but fear is is an important tool just as humans, period, um, for us to, to use. Um, you know, aside from survival, like why we we have fear, um, you know, of like, you know, uh stability and food and et cetera, and just like trying to survive, um, to make sure that like, you know, you don't you don't get hurt with things. Fear is a rational thing to have. Um, but when fear limits our ability to live, that's where it becomes detrimental and it becomes debilitating. And, and that's where it becomes a problem um, or a challenge. Fear is not something we should hesitate or look away from. On the contrary, um, if we can learn, if we can take a moment while we're afraid, which is a very hard thing to do, I acknowledge, um, to take a moment to breathe and recognize and kind of really think through what it is that you're most afraid of at that moment, um, it can help you and, and really teach you something about yourself or, um, you know, something about what it is you can work on, um, what it is that you're afraid to lose. And so it also can teach you your values um, and what you what you cherish. So that's, and I, I know I kind of just jumped into the topic, but I do want to acknowledge like last week I didn't put it on, uh, I didn't put out an episode um, and it wasn't because I forgot or anything. I, I value all of you um, listening and I value our time together. But last week I really did need a mental space, a mental break Um, because I, I recognize that when I do these episodes, because I'm not used to putting myself out there and, um, doing all the social media stuff like it's not it's not in me um I'm a very kind of uh secluded person very intimate person um I I get all giddy and I get all all nonsense um and I I wanted to take some time to reflect why it is that I end up feeling that way and why I feel like I end up looking like such a dork um, when I do these episodes, even though it's something that I'm very passionate about and something I really want to to communicate and get out there and, and just and do. Like, I love doing this um, and I love being able to show you all my, my artwork while, while I'm discussing. Um, I'm happy I figured out how to do that. <laughs> Um, but 
I recognize that I'm just, I'm afraid of being vulnerable. I'm afraid of saying what I want to say and, and at the, at the core of my being, I am a people pleaser. So I'm afraid of being authentically myself and not being accepted or, um, people, you know, getting offended by what I say or, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's, it's challenging to show up authentically and, and be comfortable with who you are. Um, at least it's challenging for me. Like I mentioned, being a people pleaser. Um, I, I've been learning and sitting through being uncomfortable and not pleasing everybody and allowing people to be uncomfortable. Um, just to kind of give more context, like, obviously you can't please everybody. You can't say, you won't say the right thing for everybody. You won't be a hundred percent on everybody's uh, good side. Um, and that's okay. I think as long as you're being yourself and you're communicating as authentically as you possibly can, as respectfully as you can, the onus isn't on you to, like, the onus wouldn't be on me to make sure that that person feels okay. Um, it's like I mentioned, it's something I'm trying to learn more um, through the trying to get better of people pleasing, but I've been learning that for me to to step in and try to sugarcoat or make things better on the other person receiving whatever communication I have to say, whether it's it's a tough one or whatever it is, the moment I try to make them feel better, I'm taking the power away from them to sit with that uncomfortability. Um, because especially like challenging conversations and and hard conversations they are going to be uncomfortable both for the person speaking or at least i would hope so um both for the person speaking and for the person hearing it it's uncomfortable having those type of conversations is very uncomfortable and it's something that i i recognize i can shy away from um especially if i don't think that the situation really needs needs that um, and because of that, I want to alleviate that moment ASAP because I don't like to be uncomfortable and I don't want that person to be uncomfortable. So, um, I immediately tend to do that. And then I recognize that I, I take that power away from them because sitting with uncomfortability is important. It's like sitting with your fear. It's important. It teaches you something. It allows you to grow and to and to understand sorry, and develop those feelings a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so I missed that episode um last week. And it's not an excuse. Um me being afraid and me having to take some time, it's not an excuse. But at the same time, I want to give you guys the best version of me and all that I can. Um, so, yeah, last week you wouldn't have gotten that. <laughs> um, the other thing I've been really reflecting on is like intentionality. Um, being intentional with what type of messages I deliver you all and what types of things I like to talk about and who I have on as guests and what we talk about. And that's something that it's it's taken time for me to really develop. Um and what's the whole what's the whole idea behind all of this, right? Like I don't want you all to not see value. Um or 
that's not that's not accurate that's not true i know what i put out there is valuable um whether it's your cup of tea or not i know it's valuable um how do i know i've gotten feedback where you know <laughs> and it, it makes me smile that i put a smile on somebody's face or i, I inspired somebody and i gave them a different idea and that's that is what is self-satisfying from this um, podcast and sounds very egotistical <laughs> but it does make me happy it is the whole purpose behind this it is why i'm putting myself out there and my ideas out there it's so that anybody who listens to this can get some sort of inspiration or some something can click for them in their mind um that just helps alleviate their days a little bit more um i always talk about creativity because i do believe it is the biggest physical outlet we can have we have a lot of mental monologue always happening and our physical bodies are always doing something whether it's for work or you know socializing um i would hope some health health fitness stuff but re rarely do you ever i think have the opportunity to have this mental monologue and your physical world combine and that's what creative expression is for me it's allowing your mental word vomits that happen in here um those long scripts and those imaginative things to just go away from your body using your body to describe that and put it into some material things and then depending on what those feelings are right so like some people they'll they'll make a piece and because it came from like emotions of rage or of sadness or of anger um they'll burn it or they'll they'll rip it up and, and throw it away right so i'm thinking of like the typical thing of like you know when you're really mad at somebody you write a letter to them and then you obviously you don't send it to them you just kind of like throw it away um, but you were able to get that that emotion out and that feeling out. That's what creative expression is. That's the point of this podcast to show you to sh to talk about all the ways that we can do that and the benefits that come with that and the the reflection that it allows for, the relief that it allows for. Um, quickly to just talk about the image that I'm working on to give some context so I tend to get in these moods where it's like I want to do something like I, I need to express something like I, I I don't know how to, I'm not good with words most of the time like you you can see I fumble um But I, I can express it in other ways. And I tend to get in these moods where it's like I'm feeling something and I need to just let it go. Um, and then I'll get an empty canvas and I'll just start doing something. And I can tell you most of the time, not always, but a percentage of the time, um, a good percentage of the time, I'm going to end up doing something uh, not specifically yin and yang related, but very balanced. Um, I'm always looking for harmony and for the push and pull and how the push and pull relates. It's just something I'm, I'm intrigued by. Um, it's something that just brings me inner peace because I, I can recognize that in that moment I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling maybe a push. Um and so as I'm 
I'm doing my artwork. I I'm looking for that pull. I'm looking for that that thing that just allows me to get the inner relief that I'm looking for. Um. So the piece that I'm making, it wasn't in, it wasn't supposed to be this. It just it became this. Um. I just started painting, and it's funny because as I'm painting. I think to myself, like, what if you're making another yin and yang piece? Like, how creative. Um, but it's just what I feel in that moment. And I was thinking about it. Like, the pink, I love using pinks. Um, and I love using purples. And I was thinking to myself, like, you know, this pink, this white, the gold, it, to me, it reflects like this this purpose this this positive want towards striving towards something this this want for this goal um which that's another thing i'm always like thinking of is like uh <laughs> it's purpose and what's the point behind everything and and doing all the things um and so the pink side, the white and the gold, it, it's that positive, that yes, like keep going, keep going, keep going. And then the purple side, the dark, it, I, in the image, if you look at it, it has silver, it has black, it has purple. That side is supposed to represent the entropy everything constantly coming to an end and always going towards this creation which is the again represented by the pink side it's it's always going into this flux of of decay of of this turmoil of this negativity of it's the opposite of what the other side is and but it's I don't know. I feel like when I look at it, it just, it off balances it so well in terms of color for sure. Um, and just that side is what helps kind of alleviate thinking through and knowing that I know I'm not the only one that feels like this. Um, I'm not the only one that thinks that life is tough and this shit happens and yeah it it makes you feel less alone it makes that uh, it makes me feel less alone and it makes me feel better um so Kind of circling back to intentionality. Um, I want to be respectful of your time and respectful of my time because I do set aside time to be able to do this, to do the edits and to do the posts and stuff. And with respect for everybody, I am being more intentional with who comes on, what comes on, what I do. Um, and yeah, that being said, though, <laughs> um, I don't know if you've noticed the last couple of weeks has been, well, not the last couple of weeks. Last week was my cousin um, who is not a creative. However, I thought it was important to show somebody that's not within that circle that has a different perspective and has a different viewpoint on creativity and, and self-expression. Um, and we discovered that it's not, it's not that he doesn't have that. It's just, that's not the way he perceives it. Um, 
which I think is just, it's important because I recognize not everybody is like that. Not everybody has a way of expressing themselves. Um, I hope that you try something <laughs> um, because like I mentioned, if you don't, it's, look, do it or not. You don't have to take my advice. You shouldn't take my advice. But you have nothing to lose. Anybody that makes anything, you have nothing to lose. I would say, especially for most of us that aren't one of these famous artists or creatives, you have nothing to lose. Put it out there. See who likes it. You never know. Or at least just get it out of your system and see what peace that can bring you. What little spark of joy. What moment of calmness, of medit... Because creating something is meditative. It's you get into another state of mind where you can kind of forget about everything. Um, so see what that can bring you. Like I mentioned, you got nothing to lose. You have all to gain, nothing to lose. But yeah, that's all I have for today. Um, next week, I have my nephew, or actually not next week. No, because I'm releasing this episode on the same day as that episode. Um, it's, again, I'm sorry about last week. It's late, but you get double content today. <laughs> um, today's other episode is my nephew, uh, Ethan. He is an adorable, adorable little munchkin. Um, I think he is 12 years old, 11 or 12 years old. Um, he was so excited. He was so excited to do this episode to, to record with me. So I hope you can check it out. Um, there is no video. That one's an audio only, but yeah, it's still fun. Uh, we talk about a bunch of random things and it's just a, a fun episode of just a free talk type of thing. Um, so I hope you enjoy and thank you again for, for listening. Uh, thank you again for just taking your time out to, <laughs> to be with me on this podcast, on this episode. Um, I guess I should do the typical podcast things. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok and on YouTube. Also, I have my podcast on YouTube. So if you prefer doing that, um, you could do that too. Or if you prefer Spotify, I'm also on Spotify and actually anywhere else you listen to your podcast, just Spotify and YouTube definitely have the video versions of these episodes um for those of you not on either one of those but yeah thank you again for joining me i hope you have a amazing wednesday and i look forward to seeing you guys again next week have a great day bye stay creative <laughs>